Okay, so this is a video on how do we create um, different headers on Microsoft Word. So first of all, we talk about how do we create header first. So to insert header, right, so, header. so we basically go to insert and then um, header. So there are footers as well. So go to insert tab you will see that um, headers is here okay so let me just insert the header first click at this button right so you can choose the like the third, third one Austin um, of course over here you can actually select everything and then um, choose like this is a header so a bit small um, but we can actually change the font size Right, so change it to like 24, 26. Right, so we can see clearer clearly that um this is actually a header. Okay, now change the color. Okay, looks better. Okay, right, so we see okay, this is header. Um to insert header, we do it this way. Now we insert some random text. So we we'll, you will see that um the header is actually the same for all the pages. This is a header, this is a header, this is a header. Right, so now if let's say this is some random text. Right, so we know that this is um if you want to put this thing into a new page, um you can insert a page break. So but um insert page break, you can go to page layout breaks. Right, so the first one is page. If you insert this one, you will see that things are moved to the next new page. But um, doing that, you are saying that this is still the same section. They are all section one, just that you start it in a new page. Okay. So in our case here, we don't want to do that. We basically want to insert a section break. So go to next page. Okay. So to do that, um, you need to. Where's my cursor? Okay. Right. So to insert section break so usually um, you will need section break to um, change the page layout for example or change the header okay so this is under page layout and then um, section uh, break and then uh, next page Right, so these are the flow that you click. So once you have clicked this one, that means what? That means um this part is section one, this part is section two. So let's um verify this thing. Right, so double click at the header. You see um this part is actually section one. I'm showing from the this part here. Um this is actually section two. So it's a bit hard to read um, but that's fine. Okay. So in order to make sure that this thing will be different from the previous one, what you can do is actually you untick this um, link to previous. So untick link to previous at the top here under design tab, link to previous, uncheck this one. So if you move the cursor a bit, um, you see it is like in blue color now. That means you are selecting, uh, this is selected. So unselect this one, click one time. So basically you unlink this one to the previous already. So you can uh, remove this whole thing. Okay, so this um, content control or text box is still linked to the previous one. So delete this one, type, type your own one, like um, this is an, uh, a new header. Okay, so you see a uh, slightly different, this is a new header, this is a header. Okay, now double click. So this is a header, this is a new header. And um, if you move down, this is a new header. You can see that uh, actually, Every section you can have different headers, but um, you can't change every page one header, but um, every section one header. Okay, so that is um what we are going to show here. Of course, just now what we click is that um the the link to previous page, right? Okay, where is my cursor? Okay, right. So to unlink, it is under design. And then um, link to previous. Okay, let me show you one more time. Um, if you click at here, you will realize that under design, 
you cannot click this link to previous because this is the first section second section then you will have this one either you want to link it or you don't want to link it okay right so that is um, what you have here and um, one thing to, to demonstrate is that you can also create something like the header that is according to your section numbering so let's just try this one double click this one right so I can remove this thing actually okay so call it a section now what section you insert a field so over here field is quite important or very useful in Microsoft Word um, insert a field from insert quick parts field okay so you will have the section number here um, where is it section okay right um, one two three and then click OK so section one so you will have this thing automatically and um, let's say if I change this thing back now uh, right so under design and then link to previous I want to link it back so this is another techniques okay so you see this becomes section two so you can have like section one section two of course um, over here let's say try call this as section three right so insert a section break here so make sure it is before the section three um, page layout break section break next page okay right so header change to section three um, automatically so that is how you can do it section one two three so headers um, that is changing according to your section numbering you can do that um, headers that you want to manually type in you can do that so more importantly is um, this one manually change it right so this is what we did um, just now okay so if you want to know um, where is my cursor always missing um, section numbering right so we got to insert and then quick parts and then we choose fields and then um, the next one is what section and then choose the number okay okay this one not bad. okay right so let, let me demonstrate one more time double click at the header so um, click at your cursor where you want to put in the numbering for example um, in front of here then go to insert quick parts fields and then um, you scroll for section section okay right so choose the number um, you can either use one two three and then you see the one two three would be um, updated accordingly okay so that is um, how you can create this one so one last question that you might want to ask is that okay if we can have section numbering can we have um, section name right so let me um, reduce the font size a bit so that we can actually um, I think 30 is good okay right so now section number so section name now right so we want to insert a section name um, of course before that let me remove the this one first uh, okay right so remember this one manually change means um, you unlink it the rest are uh, actually we link them together so these are linked okay so we want to insert a section name here um, as usual we use quick parts and fill so we demonstrate how to do this thing uh, insert and then quick parts fields okay so what are the things that you have is um, style ref okay so over here we put this thing as um, like instruction and change this thing to headings a, a bit small once you change it to headings um, the style right so make it larger a bit okay right so section name 
random text right so this is um, also the same thing random text I make it as heading and then uh, I just make it larger so that easier for us to view okay right so section 3 change the name a bit uh, continue right so name it as continue um, change the header um, again make it larger a bit okay so font size actually doesn't really matter okay so now we move back to the first page here um, not necessary first page but easier so I can actually add like a dash here or hyphen then insert quick parts and then um, fill okay so the style ref this one right so click OK so you will see that hey okay now we have this uh, section name right so instruction section name the first paragraph um, random text continue um, the, the, the the whole 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 sentence okay so that is um paragraph you insert the paragraph so you can also change it a bit um, right click at this one it is a field so you can right click edit the field okay so change it to heading one so we see what happened click so this is instruction this is still instruction so this is the heading that we added so random text and then continue and so on right so this is continue because this heading follows um, this part okay so that is um, on headers so you can actually um, make it automate um, automate this process by using fields so fields is some um, very useful and important um, tools in Microsoft Word and um, I will end here and see you in the next video